Tonight on Proof of Love, Bachelor Dylan gets a new nose. <laughs> Jonathan gets under his skin. <laughs> Christian gives oral. <laughs> Peter is afraid of the truth. Have you ever cheated in any romantic relationship? I'd rather not comment on the matter. And Bunny does this. Mm. Hi, welcome to Proof of Love. I'm Chan Tai, I'm your host. And on today's episode, joining our beautiful, handsomely, what's your name? <laughs> I don't know anything besides the fact that they're all gay. Dylan, our four contestants doing three challenges and one final decision. Rub Dylan and walk away with $1,000 or go on a date with Dylan and join Chloe, Harrison, Alex, and Natalie on our season finale couple showdown Whoa. to win our jackpot at $15,000. Let's meet Dylan. Holy shit. Damn, how's it going? How are you? My name is Dylan. I am 24 years old. I have been single since September. I have to know you before I can fuck you. <laughs> you smell incredible. Tell us what you're looking for tonight. Hot. Hot. Fun. Fun. Decisive. Decisive. I like somebody who can choose like where we're gonna eat. Say less, <laughs> say less. Are you ready to meet our fine gentleman tonight? I am. Okay, let's bring him out. Guys. Oh, sheesh. Uh, <laughs> sheesh, what's your name? Mwah. Oh, da oh, damn. Did you guys know they've kissed before? My name is Jonathan, I'm 24 years old, and I've been single for four years now. I actually had a girlfriend in 2018, and then I realized that I was gay. All right, three, two. I'm an otter, yuck. Chris, oh damn. Oh damn, Hi. okay. Sorry. My name's Christian, I'm 27 years old. I'm from Queens, New York City. And I pick boogers and clean earwax for a living. Holy hey, shit. Hi. So many good Ooh, outfits hey, today. Hey, I'm Peter. I'm 23, but I'll be 24 in a few days, actually. Do I have any fetishes? Um. Good morning. It's like fucking Hello. nine. <laughs> My name is Bunny. I'm just turned 23. I, I, I absolutely love being in a toxic relationship. I think it's the most fun thing you can ever have in your life. Dylan, first impressions? They're all like super cool. Very nice people. Super cool. You said you wanted I, hot. Yeah. So. They're all hot. They're all hot. Is that a lie? Yeah. They're not all hot. Let's bring out the Wheel of Love. Are you familiar with the Wheel of Love? Yeah, I can spin it. Yeah, yeah, spin it. Oh, gee, I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. Go ahead, give it a spin. Oh, wow, it's purple. You know what that means. <laughs> Knowledge and power. For this challenge, each contestant will have five minutes to teach Dylan a subject they're passionate about while riding a Peloton on the hardest setting. Good luck. Good luck. You guys ever been on a Peloton? Never. Me either. All right, Christian, come out, bro. Hi, Christian. Oh, shit. Hi, guys. We got a hearing yeah, thing. Stethoscope. Yes, we that's do. A, that's the word, right? Stethoscope. Oh, I got it, I got it right. I'm going to teach you how to give a focused physical exam while riding this bike. Oh, OK, you do that. Right. In medicine, you, came you do strapped. see one, do one, teach one. So here's oh, some sanitizer. That. All right. Oh. So first, you start looking at the patient, see if they're all right. <laughs> you got to do a general exam. They're awake, alert, and oriented. Come here. <laughs> Say ah, uh, that makes uh, your, oh, it looks good. Don't, look, don't got much tonsils in there. Did you get your, ton did you get your tonsils taken out? I did not get my tonsils. <laughs> so we're gonna do a quick heart and lung exam. So you put your stethoscope in. I guess. You kind of want to get some skin contact, oh. so. Can we censor that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you hearing? In through the nose, out through the mouth. That was out through, that was out. But what should I be listening for? So there's S1 and S2. Let's keep it riding, by the way. Oh, there it goes, my mind. <laughs> no it's the love and the dub, you know, the valves are opening and closing. There's usually two beats, but you're gonna hear something special when you hear my heart. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh-oh. Yo, why are you undoing his clothes? Oh, shit. Uh -oh. It's easier to get. 
Hey, but I'm gonna make sure you finish first. Hey. Your heart is beating fast, bitch. Why doesn't somebody wheel tail? Yeah, there's bell sounds. I thought it only had two hands. Oh, yeah, listen to it. Do you know why stethoscopes <laughs> were invented? Why? For what? Because a uh, gay doctor would put his head on a woman's titties. Oh, really? To listen to is her. Is that heart. a true story? It is. Jonathan. You've been on one of these before? Only recreationally. I don't think anybody does this professionally. Actually, uh, Dylan, <laughs> I heard you used to work at SoulCycle. I did work at SoulCycle. How's this form? Uh, the skill I brought for you today is film photography. Film camera right here. And I want to take your photo. Can you pose for me? <laughs> Wait, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So film photography is pretty simple. Like, if you have a point and shoot, literally just point and shoot. That's all I gotta say. One more. That's in focus. How are you feeling on the bike? Um, stand up, I have stand control. up. Up the seat. Oh, damn. And oh, then shit. as you ride. Oh, you grabbed it. Alright, all right. Right. I didn't see grabbed it. Okay, alright. <laughs> okay. Is this what they do at Soul Cycle? Are you gonna keep it censored? We're gonna, like, <sighs> tap back on the seat. <sighs> back. 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 All right, cool. Yeah. Back. Lesson at home. If you ever need an emergency stop on a bike and you're going too fast, push down. It'll stop. Oh. What are we learning today? Hi, Peter. Hey. Why are you so far away? You can <laughs> sorry, call sorry. Peter, what Look are we closer. learning today? Um, we are going to be learning about simulations. One of my main texts you can say that was in my thesis was Jean Baudrillard's Simulacra and Simulation from 81. The term I want to explore a little bit is hyperreality, which reminds me of mad realities. Extra points for the mention. I should ask you, like, what's your definition of simulation? Think of a simulation as, you know, a very basic example would be putting on a VR headset. The Matrix was actually based on Baudrillard's book, and the simulation is people in their brains, they're in that, that land. But, Baudrillard really thought that, are you learning? You're learning too. I really did not absorb exactly. any of that. Okay. I just know we're talking about the matrix. For the classic example on a basic level, and this connects to my thesis, because I was looking at images. We're still at the thesis? Yeah, unfortunately we don't have enough time. Um, we're gonna have to move to the next contestant. All right, Bunny. What's up? Come teach us something. Hi, How's it going? Yeah, oh damn, walking out like a rapper, okay. I am. I thought that maybe we could learn about something very practical. Today we're gonna learn about how to be extremely toxic. Just hell yeah. How to like completely fuck the shit out of people, just like make them feel insane. Just you, know. you have experience with this? Do you have experience with it? No. No? I've Why never. not? Oh, it's gaslighting. Huh. Oh fuck. <laughs> Right now, you're questioning someone's skill, like someone's action, right? But what about questioning their core identity, right? Okay. <laughs> what about make them question why they're here? Like, why do they keep on living? Like, your mom calls you and you say, hey, how are you doing? Have you found something good about life yet? Like, have you been doing anything with it? Like, is that, like, what is my answer to that? No. Oh, just like... Am I asking you something? Do you think <laughs> I'm talking to you? I'm talking to the camera, bro. I don't think I'm important. I think I'm very... I don't like that. No, I think I'm... It's working. <laughs> there you go. Now you've been kind to me. Remember, keep it rough. Oh, oh. You gotta keep it rough. <laughs> it's almost reminiscent to, like, fishing for compliments, which I also yes. don't like. My best uh, friend is here. You have friends? Yeah, she's the queen of gaslighting. Where oh, are yeah. you at? Where is she at? Where is she at? Oh, she's right hey. Hi, queen of gaslighting. Love you, Hello. bestie. Queen of gaslighting. Queen of gaslighting. Looks like we have our first chat challenge. Ooh. What are we doing? Um, they want me to give a blowjob to bottle, technically, but in a tornado. Right? So, so go like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, can do it. Someone is not getting laid tonight. Let's find out who. Oh uh, shit! Oh uh, my bad, my bad, my bad, right. my bad, my all bad, right. my bad. <laughs> I've heard a lot of noises tonight. Um, Dude, I've learned stuff. quite literally nothing. Who should we send home? Oh, I feel bad. Do you? No. Do you really though? <laughs> I actually, I will say up front, I do like all of you guys. You guys have all been like super kind and nice. 
Uh, the person that I am sending home is Bunny. Oh! Just like past relationships and stuff, I, I really do not like uh, self-deprecation and uh, that whole nine yards. Is You're telling me that me. that tornado blowjob? Oh! Can no, that didn't do back? it for me. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so I much. Can't I can't say I'm surprised. Do you want to call with me? <laughs> no. Why not? Stop gaslighting the fuck out. <laughs> the whole gaslighting thing, it was a really big turn off. I'm not going to lie. The, the, the best rocks are the ones that uh, life gives you. Next challenge, Wheel of Love. Man, we have one job. Wow, it's orange. You know what that means? It was red. Style me stupid. I'm colorblind, leave me alone. <laughs> style me stupid. In this challenge, our contestants are gonna have five minutes to style our bachelor and prepare him for our runway show. How would you describe your fashion taste? I don't like to be normie. You don't zoom in on the Gucci shoes. Who's this? I, I'm not. Who's this? Tom Brown. Tom Brown. I don't even know who the fuck that is. What is this? <laughs> My brother. Uh, is he a designer? It. Very high bar. Let's bring out our first contestant, Jonathan. Um, walk me through your thoughts of, of what we got over here. Well, we, we got first. some trash. We got some this. What? What the fuck is that? Oh, that that's gorgeous. I love it. Is, there? is this leopard print? Who chose these? <laughs> I heard, I heard um, you two have had a history. <laughs> okay, we made out once. Jeez. You made out once? Jesus Christ. Only once. Yeah, he was hot as fuck. It was like a 4 a.m. makeout, and I don't know who started it. I have a solid list of my top like three makeouts. You have a list? You have like a spreadsheet? No, it's not a spreadsheet, but like I do know who my top three makeouts okay. were. Is he one of them? No. Oh, uh, oh. wow. <laughs> But it was still solid. Oh I mean, it was a good one. Is it? Yeah. Kiss like him. I'm thinking uh, eccentric. I'm thinking yeah. granny. Oh. I'm thinking like <laughs> mid-century mod. <laughs> I mean, look at that word. fucking top. Come on. Awesome. All right. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> you just fucking zipped up my like happy trail. <laughs> and that's love, baby. Have you ever seen Coming to America? I look like uh, the prince's assistant. Cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Hi Dylan, hi Tantai. I'm gonna take a look and see what I feel. Honestly, I feel like this has to go on at one point. Okay. Ooh, gorgeous. We got a weird hat up here. I don't think anyone else would have seen that one. I'm kind of a weird guy. I think I might have to opt for the Adidas booty shorts. Choice. Before you came on stage, I saw I saw um, somebody who looked very similar to you making out with somebody who looks very similar to another contestant. I cannot confirm, <laughs> neither what deny what happened backstage. Did you see, I'm not saying it was you, I'm saying it was someone who looked a lot yeah, like you. Kind of mad. What is the theme? Uh, it's uh, sporty, pimp, casual. Okay, the skin to clothing ratio is He spot just on. wanted to All see right. me yeah. without He just wanted on. to see you without clothes. And if you would have just asked to have me walk in my underwear, ways. I would have done that instead. Hey, Peter. Please do a better job. I'm so sorry. This is Peter. just not okay. I think this would actually look beautiful on you. Just, just take off bad. that stuff right now. This open, <laughs> no shirt. I'm a pro camo pant person. Sorry, I, my Aperol spritz is in my hand. It's kind of like, I'm gonna go for like Ralph Lauren 2002 vibes, like just kind of casual. I'm deciding between if you wear these or not. Headband or glasses? I think you should wear it as a choker. Okay. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Can't see where I'm going. 
I do giving. have to say, it's giving. okay. I do have to say the most cohesive look. Mm. I'm ready to send someone home. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's let's bring him out. On the chopping block, we got Jonathan. We got Christian. And we have Peter's on our side. There's no way. <laughs> Who are we sending home? Two of our contestants. The little oh, Mickey yeah. Mickey reality. Yeah, and true. also went to the bathroom together. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to send home. Uh, Jonathan? Is that your final choice? Yes. Yes? <laughs> wow. All I have to say is, wow. <laughs> Bitch. He literally fucking kissed me first, and that's all I have to say. I, I'm not jealous or anything. Like, I, it rubs me the wrong way. I, I just didn't like it. Shit. All right, okay, let's go. It's orange again. Love the way you lie. For this challenge, we've hired the voice of truth. I'm Dennis DiBernardis, retired from NYPD, polygraph specialist for over 35 years. And I was called here today so we can eliminate contestants to see who was here for the right reason by finding out who was truthful and who was deceptive. Peter. Do you consider yourself a bottom? Let's make it easy. Do you consider yourself a top? <laughs> I'd rather not comment on the matter. On an ideal date night with your man, would you be excited to dance the night away? Of course, that's my- so Yes or no answers? Yes. Okay. Well, I see here that you're being truthful, but I think you're holding back a little bit. I think you'd be a little bit more excited about doing something else rather than just dance. Of course. <laughs> Do your friends Go consider ahead. you to be a jealous type? No. Never? Mm, no, I don't think so. so if you saw Dylan making out with someone else, it wouldn't bother you? Of course that would bother me, but then my you're friends. A jealous type. But my friends wouldn't say. So you're being deceptive. Said, Do you consider yourself a top? Yes. How about when you're on the bottom? Have you ever told someone, I love you romantically, and didn't mean it? No. It's only the first time though, right? Do you use hyperboil when you tell stories to seem more interesting? No. I see a little deception here. I think he exaggerates a little bit. Just a little bit. Have you ever cheated in any romantic relationship? Uh, yes. you truthful. I appreciate that. I think it's more Honestly. than once. You might be habitual. Did you kiss uh, Jonathan backstage? It's a yes or no question. It's a... I think it's a yes. <laughs> I told you, you're being truthful. Did you enjoy it? I can't say no, so yes. Did you make out with anybody backstage? I did not. He's being honest, he missed out. Is your dick bigger than six inches? Yeah. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going off the chart here. Right. <laughs> right. Gentlemen. Say one nice thing about each of these guys. Christian, you're the bomb. So nice. Hot boys, super cool, all around like nice. Actually, genuinely like a kind person. Peter, also super, super kind. Very cute, I like it. a vibe. We get along pretty well and uh, yeah. Interesting. One of these guys is on your mind. Yeah. Do you know who you want to send home? Yeah. Before we get to that, let's talk about <laughs> our one of one <laughs> NFT. What do we got this week? From Mad Realities comes an all new one of one NFT. Please cuff me. Winner of the NFT gets sponsorship placement and the ability to put their friend on the season finale. 
proceeds increase the size of the jackpot. Available now on house.madrealities.xyz. Powered by Zora. Auction ends during the proof of love after party. Side effects of purchasing this NFT may include attraction to others, increased blood flow to the penis, likelihood of getting laid, admittance into Peter's simulation, and a visit from Dennis Debernardis and the ghost of Harrison Lane. This material does not take into account your particular investment objectives, financial situation, or needs, and is not intended as recommendations appropriate for you. You must make an independent decision regarding investments or strategies mentioned on this show. Before acting on information on this website or on the show, you should consider whether it's suitable for your particular circumstances and strongly consider seeking advice from your own financial or investment advisor. Are you gonna send one of these guys home or are you gonna have a menage a trois? No, I'm sending somebody home. Okay. The person that so, I am sending home is... It's Christian. <laughs> oh, I'm so surprised. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Dylan. That's why you don't make out with the other contestants Can't help behind this cage. I'm hard. Sir. You have two choices. Go on a date with this dude and come back on the season finale or take our jackpot for the week of $1,000. I will absolutely be going on a date with him. Oh shit, okay. The nice guy doesn't always finish last. I'm uh, excited to be with you. You're super cool. You're actually like super kind. Thank you. We're gonna win this thing. Though. Okay, yeah. 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 we're gonna say win. less. Yeah. Um, there you have it folks. We have our three couples going into season finale. Chloe and Harrison. Uh, Chloe and Harrison. Alex and Natalie. Joining these gentlemen on the season finale. I will see you April 24th. Go buy a fucking NFT.